हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू एट माई हैप्पी प्लेस टुडे आई एम मेकिंग अ हेलो क्राउन और हेड पीस माई फ्रेंड नीडेड सम काइंड ऑफ हेड गेयर एक्सेसरी फॉर हर फोटोशूट सो आई मेड दिस फॉर हर यू कैन चेक हर इंस्टाग्राम पेज आई विल लिव द लिंक इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स यू कैन ऑल्सो चेक माइन ऑल्सो देर आर सो मेनी एक्साइटिंग वीडियोज कमिंग अप सो इफ यू हैवेंट सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब एंड लेट्स जम्प इन टू द वीडियो For this headpiece I'm using some skewers, headband, scissors, pencil and cardboard. First I painted the skewers with this gold paint. Next I'm going to trace this headband shape on the cardboard and make one more semicircle which will be approximately 1 inch larger than the original shape and I'm going to make two pieces like this. And now I will cut both of the pieces. so i have two shapes like this then next i am attaching this shape to the very edge of the headband and press it firmly it's time to add those skewers so first i glued one skewer at the very center of the headband and then i will arrange the other skewers like this now i will glue the other skewers and here i'm making sure that they are at similar distance on each side now i will glue the other semicircle shape to this edge of the headband and here i have added lots of glue because this base structure has to be firm otherwise it will fall off and i don't want that also i'm checking for the gaps here if there are any i'm filling those up with hot glue Then I will paint this base in same golden paint that I used for skewers. Next I am adding golden lace to cover those gaps on the top. Now time to add some embellishments. For that I have these stick on rhinestones from Dollar Tree and I added them along both the edges. As you can see the color scheme of this headpiece is golden so i had to find everything in gold color you can see various shades of gold here and i found these beautiful rhinestones in dollar tree and they work perfectly then i will add this golden chain like this to create kind of like spider web effect and i got this chain from walmart this is my favorite part but it took the longest you can see that chain is so delicate and i didn't want to put pressure on the skewers cause of course they will break and everything will be ruined so this really really tested my patience it's complicated but i did it Lastly added those leftover rhinestones to make this design more intricate. Next I'm using these kind of rhinestones again from Dollar Tree then some plastic paper I don't know if you can see it on the camera but there it is then uh, a golden scrapbooking paper and some elmer's glue to make tikka First I'm adding some glue on that plastic paper and then I will add those rhinestones to make kind of like flower shape. I have to say among all my crafts and DIYs this piece was most intricate one. First when I drew the design on paper it seemed easy but oh boy the execution was so complicated because of all the delicate work it was challenging but i had fun making it i let it dry for 12 hours and then i cut that circular shape and 
I will add that golden paper as backing. Again, I am using Elmer's glue to glue that golden paper. Finally, I attach that tikka to the headpiece with some more golden chains. And this is how it turned out. It looks so intricate and beautiful. I just love it. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button. And I will see you guys in the next video.